Welcome to The Signal. Chief TV is here to bring you news that matters to the Pooh. I am Micaiah here in the studio with Landon the Comfy, Homeboy Henry on graphics, Reagan the Boss directing us all, and last but not least, Heaven Booth. Thanks, Micaiah. That's right. I'm here with some info all Chiefs want to know. Let's go! Everyone's getting the license at 16. So what? That's so generic. We all need to learn how to drive and whatever, but what if you learn how to drive an airplane at 16? YSBS is a program that uses 10 students throughout the district to learn the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get the private private's license. This will be in cooperation with Ozark Technical Community College and Premier Flight Center starting in August of 2023. Just think, next time you get carded at the club, you could flash your pilot's license. The info meeting for this new program is Thursday, March 23rd at 725 at Central High School. But if you miss it, you can still apply. As long as you fill an application form between um, 27 5 p.m., you'll be on your way to fly the friendly skies. My name is Heaven Booth with Chief TV. Now, direct attention back to Markaya. Hey, Kikapu, Markaya here with tech news you can use. First up, Tesla vehicles come equipped with the coolest entertainment features. Rolling out the features in the next few months, Tesla Motors reports various streaming options like the Netflix and Hulu becoming available in case you are in traffic and need the streaming and video fix. Tesla also plans on releasing video games to keep your passengers entertained, as if that's not a car crash waiting to happen. In other tech news, according to People for Ethical Treatment of Animals, or the PEETA, 54 companion animals died of heat strokes in the past year in American cars. Although throughout the 2022 summer, first responders saved 469 more animals from the heat after their owners left them in their cars. Tesla is trying to avoid these tragedies by employing the standard dog mode, which is available on most of the Z Tesla models. This feature lets Tesla owners set the temperature in their car so that it is comfortable for the pets while they are gone, posing no risk to the animals. Seems like technology might actually save a life or two. Way to go, Tesla. That's all for this tech update. Now over to Carter with the sports news. <laughs> hey there, Chief TV. I'm Carter Christie coming to you with the latest sports news. Starting off, we have NCAA's March Madness. There have been some pretty big upsets, including the second time ever that a 16-seed FDU has beaten a 1-seed Purdue. Another upset is 15-seed Princeton beating the 1-seed Arizona. Who's going to take home the trophy this year? My bet's on UConn. In other sports news, the World Baseball Classic just showed off Japan's pitcher Shohei Otani. Otani struck out his MLB teammate in Mike Trout to win the Classic for Japan. The final score was 3-2 in Japan's favor. Major League Baseball is in full swing for 2023. And finally today, although the Chiefs are still celebrating from the Super Bowl, we are now in the NFL offseason. Some teams are already making some big moves. The Miami Dolphins are seeming to shoot for the Super Bowl in 2024 by trading for former Los Angeles Rams cornerback Jalen Ramsey, while the Chiefs are reloading for the next season by signing veteran offensive tackle Jawan Taylor. Chiefs Kingdom have also signed ball hawk and playmaker Mike Edwards. They are in serious trade talks for Cardinals wide receiver and pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins. Will my Chiefs keep the trophy in 2024? Let's hope so. That's all for today. I'm Carter Christie. Hey, hey, Kickapoo, Jonah. And Kylie. Here with some interesting info you Chiefs might not hear anywhere else. You know, it's tough to stay fit these days with all the distractions we have outside of the gym. I've got some news to make you second guess going into the gym. What? Well, it happened, Chiefs. We've resorted to fighting not only in the boxing ring, but at the gym itself. In recent weeks, fights and attacks in public, private gyms across the nation have once again proved America may be racing to the bottom. Now, this doesn't seem like something that would happen on a regular basis, especially to someone like a celebrity. Well, famous rapper Takashi 69 was brutally beaten by two other men at a LA Fitness in Florida last weekend. There has been released video footage of these guys kicking, punching, and yelling at rapper 69. Reports say the few guys who did this were higher ranked in Takashi's own gang, and it was because he, quote, is known as a rat. What does this teach us, impressionable youth? Well, don't go to the gym, but if you do, don't be a rat. That's all for today for me. How about you, Jonah? From gym fights to zombie bites, Kylie, I'm here with a game update. Let's talk gaming and online news, Kickapoo. Resident Evil 4, the iconic game originally released by Capcom in 2005, has just been remade and released for all major formats just this month. The Raccoon City PD game series is one of the most popular survival horror franchises to come out of the console gaming scene in decades. The remake of the game, now released through Steam and other gaming networks, holds the same elements of the original game while introducing a modernized gameplay and a reimagined storyline. In other games, gaming news, EA is releasing the much anticipated Jedi Survivor on the 20th of April. So sharpen those lightsaber boys in shooty pew pew games. Counter-Strike Global Defense, better known as CSGO, has been such a relevant game since 2012 when it came out. That nearly every teen I know has played it. 
11 years later, it's still doing great. Valve recently announced Counter-Strike 2 coming out this summer. It'll have a new updated maps, updated graphics, and finally today, Chiefs, Forza Horizon 5 fans were thrown for a curve recently as first release editions of the game have been filled with the bugs causing crashes and unreliable gameplay. As a peace offering, the game makers have released a Hot Wheels DLC updated to the game as well as claimed to patch all the known bugs that are for the addition of the signal. For Kylie Carter, Mike Markaya, Heaven, Henry, Landon, and Reagan. See you next time, Chiefs. Yeah. Yeah. That's a I don't care.